Students of Reddit, what is something your teacher did that really pissed the whole class? Turned off the AC to punish the people passing notes. Man, we had a teacher for our lab who, when the class started talking even a little, would turn off all the four fans except for the fifth one which was right above him. Screamed at the class because he assumed that an intermittent beeping sound that occurred throughout the lecture was somebody receiving texts. It was the projector that he was using, alerting him to the fact that it was overheating. Dumbass. That's almost as good as the time a substitute tried to confiscate a student's phone when it beeped. It was a diabetes thing attached to the student's body. I had a college professor who was teaching a history course to a bunch of education majors in their junior year. She would ask us questions all the time about things she hadn't yet lectured on, and then pull the, Really? No one knows the answer to this? Well, I guess we'll just wait for someone to answer. We were all education majors. We knew that trick. We waited her out, every single time. She always broke first. Edit, people keep asking, What's the trick? This was a poorly executed attempt at using the Socratic method. It's better to have students arrive at an answer themselves than it is to tell them. However, you have to first create an environment of trust and respect so that students are comfortable enough to risk a wrong answer, and you have to be willing to provide a little bit of scaffolding should no one know. This professor did neither of those things. She ended up leaving for her vacation earlier than she thought so our final projects needed to be done three days early. Not a big deal if she hadn't told us with two days notice. I don't get how teachers get away with this shit. Numerous times they failed students at an exam, then publicly admitting that. Passing 40 to 50 percent of students that took the exam would be too much, and that's considered normal behavior. I absolutely hate this. There was a teacher at my old university who just so happened to be the father of one of my closest friends. I was very confused in the beginning when everyone hated him because to me he seemed like a nice guy. I find out later he takes pride in failing his students and will actively fail anyone he feels isn't interested or putting in enough effort. One of my favorite professors said it best. If half your students fail your class, you have failed as an educator for half those students. He wouldn't let the class go until everyone rolled some dice and if you got six on any of the two you could leave. I got so many tardy slips and call homes because of him. 40 degree weather, Celsius, in outback Australia and she wouldn't turn on the aircon in class even though it worked. Her reason was that, when she was young she didn't have an aircon, and she survived. All the students hated her. During English controlled assessments she would play whale noises in the background to help us focus. Our French teacher held a five-minute detention for the entire class because we waited outside the classroom for her to let us in. You know, like polite kids do. She claimed we were wasting her time and sent a detention note home to all the parents. Better still, on results day she said, Wow, I didn't expect you to get an A. My German teacher would make you retake spelling tests until you got 100% once you did you could sit and do whatever you like until the whole class got 100% this caused a lot of pressure on everyone as he used to belittle the students who didn't pass first or the second time. If you was the only one left, he would stand over you and watch you struggle. One test day I decided to bunk off and I got caught. I burst into tears and explained how horrible this teacher was and that I'm never going back into his class. I was moved into a higher set German class with an amazing teacher and my German improved. Oh, this one's a favorite. Post-English class. Break starts. I remain at my desk and do the homework the teacher assigned. Break ends. Teacher comes back. Sees I've done the homework already. She waits for all the class to come back. Then she shouts. Since my name has already done the homework, you all get two extra pages. Needless to say, that didn't improve my bullying situation. Gave AC to an 85 plus percent test because she Gives grades relative to the average performance of a student. My teacher, unable to manage 20 of rowdy kids, is pretty enraged by the end of the class. She has a thing about counting every piece of equipment after class, and she begins counting the Newton meters. Now, if you don't know what these are, they are literally a metal spring with plastic around it that measures how much an item weighs. This teacher counted 19, when there was definitely 20. So she holds us back from lunch. She brings the faculty head in, and we get a bull locking from her. Cannot steal from the school. 
unjust, yada yada. If we were rowdy before, we're raging now, and she requests the least well-behaved kids open their bags. Of course these kids are protesting, but the teacher offers detention if they don't comply. So after rummaging through a bunch of pubescent kids' bags and finding nothing, she finally goes back to her desk to find the Newton meter sitting behind her world's best teacher mug. Look on her face, priceless. Not just the whole class, but the whole school. She got a bunch of teachers fired because of petty office politics. And those teachers were older and more beloved than her. Forced us to make a donation to a charity. When I didn't bring anything in, I got a demerit. Had to argue that not everyone has the ability to give something away. She then told me off for back chatting in front of the class. Everyone was like what a fack. Head teacher of my high school tried to expel me for having an epileptic seizure in front of him. Said I was a danger and distraction to others' pupils and was disrupting his school. I ended up being kept out of school for two months while my parents fought my case. In that time almost all of the rest of the teaching staff, who were furious with this decision, kept me supplied with work and even one-to-one -one tutoring when needed. This was in a rural area where the next nearest school was 40 miles away so we had no other school choice. He would act like he was enlightened and say shit like, Video games rot your brain. All your free time should be spent on education as that is all that matters. But then during the lessons he would go completely off topic and start talking about random shit. Apparently he is making a board game that could compete with chess because he is just that brilliant. On the last day of school it is custom, in Germany, that you don't do anything and just watch a movie or go to town and eat an ice cream. We are a school where you have class from 8 to 16, and we're the state that has summer vacation last. So in the last lesson where we did fucking maths which no one likes he told us at the end how does it feel to be the last students doing lessons in the whole of Germany? Spent the entire semester in uni telling us half the material would not be on the semester exam. Guess what? All the material was on the semester exam, and it tanked all of our scores because the professor was a dick and hated that people go to uni to get a qualification for a job. He hated anyone in his class that didn't aspire towards a career in academia. We were about 10 to 11 years old. It was the last period of the day, and the music teacher was subbing our science class. He was sitting on the computer, and we were all getting on with work. Towards the end of the period our homeroom teacher comes into the classroom and exclaims, It's the end of the day. Why are you all not packed up? To which the music teacher replied, I told them and they refused to. Um, excuse you? He hadn't said a thing to us so we all protested. Even so our homeroom teacher told us off for being disobedient as the music teacher slithered out of the room and we had to stay ten minutes late as punishment. Lying snake. At university, my professor did not tell us the time of our examination, despite numerous emails from twenty-odd students, as well as the head professor of the course. This exam could have been any time from 9 a.m. to 5 p.m., and I lived 90 minutes from campus and relied on crap public transport to get into uni. It got to 9 p.m. the day before the exam. No one knew when the exam would be, and if we missed it we would fail the whole module. So I took the train to the city where my uni is booked a cheap, shitty hotel room for the night, just to make sure I was there on time. We all took the exam at 12 p.m., after getting an email an hour before the exam was being held, so I wouldn't have made it in time if I stayed at home. Worst part was that no one cared, not the professor, the course lead, or the head of our school. They all just left 30 students in the lurch, allowing them to potentially fail the exam and therefore the module. Teachers spent weeks teaching us, the Schindlever method of learning about natural science instead of teaching from the book. On test day, he gave us the test that came with the teacher's version of the book so we never even covered the info on the test. We all scored very poorly but learned to ignore him in class and studied the book on our own. Google isn't telling me about this, Shilever, method. What is it? His name was Mr. Shilever and his method was to teach us the things he remembered from college about natural science none of which was covered in our ninth grade textbooks. The teachers who would spend half of the class time getting people to wear their uniforms correctly, in the UK BTW, and then not have enough time to cover all the topic for the day, usually leaving us severely behind or backed up with homework. No one cares that someone has t got their tie the right f-i-n-g length, or their shirt tucked in. 
What makes it more of a joke is they say not having uniform will cause distractions, yet not once on a non-school uniform day did we have anything like that happen. Not a teacher but the administration had all of us in middle school wear student IDs on a lanyard color-coded by what hallway your classes were in every single day. Sparked massive, actual protests from the students. Because even though my town is pretty low on crime rates, that administration, middle school and above, essentially treated every kid like they were either already a criminal or had the strong potential to be. There were so many protests on the lanyard BS they stopped doing it after winter break. Because it'd be bad publicity if they kept giving out detentions for insubordination the way they were. They also did things like assign seating at lunch and force the middle schoolers who wanted to go see the high school football games to be fenced and so as not to cause trouble. Wow. If there were no words like school and teacher here, this would actually feel like you're describing a jail. Told us the other class was better. The other class was told the same thing. One of our lecturers at uni once. Basically, he doesn't let any of us talk to him unless we make an appointment with him. Something that takes basically two minutes to answer? Nope. Write an email and he'll get back to you. You stop him in a hallway to ask him a question? Nope. Only through email and schedule times. Like even if it literally takes less time to explain something to us than to say, I will only answer questions during schedule meetings. So email me and we can arrange something. Dot, he will insist on scheduling you in and then locking himself in his office. That's one way to piss off an entire year group of students. Do you have a similar story? Leave a comment and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more videos like this one.